Welcome back to the Radio Roamers, guys. Uh, we're out here again today talking about what is the best portable key for CW operators. I've been doing Morse code for two, two and a half years now. I've had the great opportunity to play with lots of different types of keys that I own and even some I borrowed some from friends. So when I'm looking for a Morse code key, what are you looking for? You're looking for price. You don't want it to be crazy expensive where you're going to break the bank. And two, you're looking for the durability and quality of a good key that you can take out into the field. And uh, some of these keys you can even uh, use as a shack key. All right, so like I said, we're going to look for a best portable quality key. Now we're going to run over to the desk, and I got about four or five keys we're going to take a look at, and then some that I don't own, but I do know people that own, and I love them. So we'll take a look at those as well. All right, so the first uh, portable beginner pal we're going to talk about is the CW Morris Pocket Paddle. I've had this pal for two years now. It's held up really well. And you see on the back, you got your 3.5 millimeter plug. On the sides, you got uh, your adjustments. You can use with a hex key that they send with you. as a little uh, hole you can put in right there. Uh, you can plug it right in. And uh, like I said, I've had this for about two, two and a half years now. It's made a great key. Uh, there's lots of different accessories you can do for it. I 3D printed this case right here uh, for uh, traveling. And it works really well. Another great thing they do sell with these keys is a uh, metal base. It has four magnets on the bottom. You can easily set it onto the base and uh, take it to the field or bring it to the shack. And the contacts are really nice. You can get them really close where you barely even have to touch it to send. Next key we're talking about is the uh, K6 ARK 3D printed paddle. Uh, this is a super tiny QRP key, as I like to call it. And uh, I built this one about, uh, about a year ago. And uh, so far it's held up really well. Uh, same concept as a 3.5 millimeter plug on the back. It has some little screws you can tighten for your contacts if you would like them closer. Um, plug the key back in. And the only thing that's a little bit hard on this key is it's so small. It's hard to fit in your hand. Um, you can glue some magnets on there. Never tried that or get some uh, Velcro. Uh, but it's a great little pal to throw in your bag as a backup. And uh, so far I've really enjoyed building these. I've built probably 10 of them together and gave them away to some friends and uh, family. So. It doesn't have the best feel for a paddle, but it is uh, pretty well considering that all the parts are maybe $5 in this key. Uh, 3D printed all the parts myself, and then uh, you can buy the plug on Amazon, the wire, uh, the contact screws, and everything else on Amazon. So all you have to have is a, either a 3D printer, or it's lots of great sites online. Uh, they can pay a few dollars and have them uh, make the parts for you. All right, the next key we're talking about is the CW Moore straight key. I don't really use straight keys a lot for activating or portable operations with, uh, but this is a great uh, straight key. I think you can get it for like twenty or thirty dollars on CW Moore's uh, website. They have different styles, different types of knobs you can get on there, and different colors. And you have your uh, two contacts you can adjust for your, how close you like your contacts. A nice thing has this uh, steel base on the bottom. You can also take a screwdriver and unscrew these two, and it will allow you to take this key off the base. All right, so one of my favorite portable keys for beginners that I do own is the uh, Puda Keg Paddle. Uh, it's, it's about $50, $60 you can order on Amazon. There's a few other websites as well you can order them on. It has the same concept as all their portable keys we've talked about so far. It has the uh, 3.5 millimeter plug on the back. You can plug uh, your cable right into you also have a little switch right here, if you can see. This will allow you to change DAWs from different sides. So on mine, I have the DAWs on the right. You can switch this little switch over. So it allows you to switch between both sides of the paddle. I can only keep on this side right here. On the bottom, it has these very strong three uh, magnets on the bottom. And the same concept as the CW Morris key. You can have a uh, metal base, and it'll stick right to it. And that thing will not go anywhere. All right, so for all the setting that I've been doing today, I've been using the CW Morris Mini Yak uh, 2D. It's a great little practice oscillator, and I've taken this with me a lot of places where we've traveled. Uh, it's really nice. It has the uh, programmable buttons. So you can program a CQ in there. And you can also have your volume to adjust. It has commands. has a practice mode. Uh, has multiple ways you can program uh, different memories in there. So if you have a radio that doesn't have a built-in memory. Uh, so if for a beginner, like I said, if you don't have a radio, these are great uh, little oscillators from CW Morris, it's around $60, and uh, so far mine's held up really well with what we've used it for. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the short little discussion review we had about the best portable 
a budget friendly key for beginners. Uh, like I said, I've had all these keys for a couple of years now, and I've uh, used them for multiple parks on the year activations, traveling with. And I think the best price and uh, will be the Puda Keg key. Has some great durability. The price is a decent price. Has lots of great features like the magnets and the reversible pa paddle sides that you can uh, customize on there. Uh, we well, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please uh, consider uh, giving us a thumbs up to keep on making this content. Uh, like always, we'll say seven threes and God bless from the ham shack until the next time.